Hey peeps, it's only me, Kelly Morgan, your online poll instructor. No matter where you are in the world, I'm here to help you progress at home. So today is, I'm going to basically be doing a recording of front splits. So we do a 12 week front splits course, right? So I'm just going to come down and chat to you in a minute. Um, so before I get stuck in with this recording, um, I just wanted to quickly jump on and talk about passive and active. And you may have heard these terms before uh, when it comes to flexibility. And yeah, you're going to need it on the pole. <laughs> As you progress, you're going to need to increase increase your flexibility and passive means being able to push against a resistance of some kind so uh passive like splitting on the floor you've got the floor to push against right uh so that is like a passive stretch when you say go upside down and you split okay where you've got nothing to push against that's active flexibility and there is a huge difference between the two because when you do a split on the floor it feels fantastic right you're like yes okay I can split on the floor and then you're like why can I not split like this when I'm upside down it's because you don't have the muscle strength to be able to actively hold does that make sense so it's really important to do both right um I I love both I love stretching just you know just general stretching without using any, uh, without using your muscles. So let me see if I can explain this better. Just in case you uh, wanna know, right? So for example, okay, this is a good example. Hopefully you can still hear me. So basically, if I come and lay down on the floor, I'm just trying to make sure I don't come out of view, right? If I lift one leg up and then I'm going to actively, I'm not gonna hold it, I'm actively gonna use my muscles and I'm trying to squeeze that leg as close as I can without bending the knee, okay? So I'm gonna keep that leg nice and straight and I'll really work through my quads, it's gonna work through my abs as well as my hip flexors and I'm gonna lengthen the hamstrings. So I'm gonna aim for this leg to come towards my shoulder, but just using my muscles. I'm gonna squeeze, 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 without pushing your butt off the floor as well, okay? Squeeze, 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 and you're gonna feel this burn up your muscles being used, right? That is called, that's active, right? If I was gonna lay here and I'm like, right, I've got this leg as close as I can actively. Now, passively, I'm gonna use my hands. I'm gonna hold on to my calf and then I'm gonna bring that leg closer towards me, right? That is a passive stretch, okay? I'm using something to assist me. Does this make sense? So can you see why both would be beneficial? I love this, uh, uh, the passive and active, we do use uh, both on the pole. For example, jade split being a classic move, right? Uh, actually, with this one, where we hold onto the leg. If you're holding onto the leg, this leg is working passively, but the back leg, well, we've got to lower the leg down to squeeze the butt, okay? We need nice, strong booty muscles to be able to lower that leg and hold it down. Because nothing's holding it, we're just using our muscles, that's where the strength side comes into play. So active is strength-based. Does that make sense? So can you see how we use both? Then there's other passive ones like upright split where your front leg and your bottom leg is pressing against the pole and you can use your hands to pull into the pole even more passively okay because you're using something to assist you so there's lots of moves in pole when it comes to i'm just talking about splits let alone back and shoulders and all that good stuff um but yeah so yeah hopefully this makes sense to you guys in some way uh if you don't know where to start come and join our front splits course it's a 12-week course it's not like you have to do it every day okay this is something that i've heard many times again oh i've tried to do a split i tried to do split challenges but I just sort of fall off the bandwagon after like 10 days, I stopped doing it. Uh, so you need to find something that you can follow, that you can do consistently, that's achievable for, for you to do, okay? So our sessions are approximately about 45 minutes and you just do it twice a week. There are 20, so it's a 12 week course, there's 24 different lessons, okay? So you don't follow the same lesson all the time. I do, um, I do the, literally the course with you. So 12, um, sorry, 12 weeks, 24 lessons, each lesson is slightly different. And you just keep going, you just keep going through each lesson. So we work on alignment. We focus for the first like four weeks is really working on like your hips and getting your hips aligned. Um, and then we t tend to focus a little bit more on hamstrings and glute strength. Um, so yeah, it's all good fun. Okay. So I'm just about to record the 16th session, which means this is week eight and, uh, you don't need to do this live. This is pre uh, start again. Start, this is a pre-recorded course. However, the course that I've, um, already on the system 
is a couple of years old. So I'm redoing it with some of the new techniques that I have learned along the last past ugh, past few years. Oh, I can't talk. Uh, this will be fun recording, won't it? Um, in the past few years, I've learned a lot more along the way. So every time I learn more, I will always share that knowledge with you. I'll always update your lessons, okay? Um, so yeah, if you purchase the course, you'll get the updated versions anytime that I do them. Um, I'm currently, as I said, I'm on week I'm on week eight, lesson 16 today, which is progress day, okay? So something else that's really important when it comes to splits is, or anything really, is track your progress. I know I keep talking about it, but you've got to track, 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 track. What are you doing? Is it working for you, okay? So every four weeks, we do a, what we call a progress check, uh, check-in point, right? Um, so I will say in uh, week four, um, which is lesson eight, um, after the eighth session, hey, let's have a progress picked um, update. So you post your most recent split pick, so after lesson eight, and compare it to your first lesson. And then we do the same at lesson 16, okay? So week eight, and then obviously at the end of the course, lesson 24, okay, week 12. Um, and then you can see the difference, and you should definitely be seeing some sort of results every check-in point, every four weeks. And if you're not, it's okay, why not? This is where we need to talk and go, okay, something's not quite right here, or we're not engaged in something, or then it's got to be a better technique for you. So if you've joined the Black Friday deal, okay, or you've got access to WhatsApp with me anyway, make sure you use me, okay? Send me a message Send me a message saying, hey, does this look good? Or hey, what can I do to improve here? Hey, this is my progress pick. This is what do you think? Um, and then we can talk about it, okay? Right, love you and leave you. Hopefully this is helpful. Speak to you soon. Bye.